joining us today. I know that I say this all the time, but today I have a special guest joining me in studio. Andre Parkhitter has been in the industry for more than three decades, serving as a dealer principal for many different brands for the majority of that time. Andre joined our team at Women Talk in September 2019 as our CEO and most importantly as the pioneer in our exclusive advertising portal. Andre is practical, down to earth with a strong moral compass. He is orderly, organized, systematic and controlled. And once committed, he employs decisive steps to problem solving without giving up easily. He seeks to establish a solid foundation and would rather use hard work and long hours to build a business or career. Courageous and a true survivor, he is a builder and the foundation of any enterprise and his hard work and practical values pay off as we have witnessed right here at Women Talk. So let's welcome Andre Parkhitter and as always today's delightful discussion is brought to you by Sariti Solutions. Hey Andre, so nice to have you here today. Thank you, it's very nice to be here. And nice to sit here on the other side of the camera today, and not just behind the scenes of uh, of what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you deserve to be in front of the camera because you've been doing a lot of work. Um, I think I would like to bring Andre Parchita, the man that I know and um, that I have established a relationship with uh, throughout the years, um, to the forefront. And I want to share this with my viewers or with our viewers today. So please, maybe tell us a bit more about your journey in motoring. And yeah, let's let's start it. Uh, thank career. you very much. This yes, yes. I started um, after my army days. I started um, in the short-term insurance business. Mm. And then in 1990, I joined the motors in motor industry as a sales consultant at um, Dutton Motors VW in Sasselburg. Um, and then from there on, I moved to Pretoria, where I worked at LMD Motors in Sunnyside. Mm -hmm. And then we went to McCarthy Kunene in Witbank. Mm -hmm. And there I was there for many years. And um, and then I went to New Vol Motors, where mm -hmm. I served two or three branches there. Mm -hmm. um, the franchises I dealt with was the VW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Chrysler, uh, Fiat, and Alfa. Um, the positions I held, I started as sales sales consultant, uh, loved it, then moved up to sales manager, and then later on dealer principal, which uh, which I still loved uh, up to the last um, position I had in the retail side. Wow, Andre, that is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite a while, but uh, I love the motor industry. Once in your blood, always in your blood. Yeah, well, and that is why when Andre was on the brink of um, leaving the motoring industry, retiring forever, <laughs> I had to grab his attention and I had to say to him, listen, you, it's not time for you to leave. And that is why Andre is now on the other side of the motoring industry. So, Andre, maybe tell us what motivates you where you as we've been working together now for almost two years closely together actually we know each other for six years yeah, almost six right. years yes. um but there's one thing that led me to um, um you know approach you in terms of joining um, um my um, you know my uh, uh, initiatives and one of those were uh, your resilience uh, your resilience to keep bouncing back but that comes from being motivated yes. by something what motivates you this my biggest motivation is success and overachieving on my personal targets um you know one one's usually you uh, you're a bit tough on yourself than when you than working for somebody yes. so you set your own goals and you you try to overachieve that yes. in the set time period yes yes absolutely look andre um one of the driving forces for you to actually join forces um with me and uh, my initiatives was to empower women that 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 was really something that um, um that stood out for you so what advice would you give um to girls a dream on or plan on entering a male dominated field like ours yeah yeah this definitely i think what we what what the ladies or the youngsters or the young ladies women would do is to to keep on and be dedicated as much as you can mm. when you go into 
into the perceived male dominated market you have to do everything a little bit better than the men <laughs> when you unfortunately that's how you get seen in the industry yeah. so when you go on some training courses when you compete for whatever position when you do any position whether it's admin or technical or mm -hmm. sales just do better than the rest and then you will be noted as a woman no absolutely andre and i know that you one of your um uh, priorities here at women talk is to employ women yes. and yes. those are the qualities you look for yes. so yeah you definitely that is practicing what you preach so yes um, um andre you do you have people um within the motoring industry or out of the motoring industry that you have taken mentorship from that you idolize yes definitely um, okay. The one, the one person that stands out till, till today, and um, I mean, is is Mr. Brown Pretorius. Mm. Um, he's one of the most sincere, and the most admirable leaders in the motor industry. Mm. His compassion and empathy to the staff is something to strive for, mm. and um, combined with with dedication and hard work, I mean, you can then. If you do that, really achieve your set goals. Yes, yes. I know that you have also had um, personal um, interaction yes, with him. Yes, definitely. We've, yes. we've worked a bit and we've had personal um, interaction with each other. And yeah. you just learn every time Mr. Pretorius opens his mouth or do a presentation, you just learn and yes. you can just see how he adds value to everybody. Um, was listening to you absolutely in fact i did an interview last week sometime um with a lady in, in cape town and i asked her the question and it's coming to the forefront with a lot of my interviews that brunt pretorius is someone to really um um you know uh, look up to in the motoring industry yes. in south africa he's definitely one of the icons so i should be getting brunt pretorius in the seat soon. yes that <laughs> will be awesome <laughs> so andre what is your opinion about um woman empowerment uh, I, uh well you know we have a uh, woman talk which is our magazine um and then we have uh, the talk show which really is taking the industry by storm and then we Absolutely. have uh, the motoring woman of the year awards another platform uh, su supported by mfc um and, and powered by mfc that brings women to um the limelight or in the limelight mm -hmm. um so uh, how do you feel about all of this yes Desh, the products that you are involved in gives the correct message to the woman um uh, and it shows them that anything is possible mm -hmm. Um, the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards is something which is absolutely unique in South Africa. You started it and it adds so much value to the people that's been nominated firstly and secondly uh, to the people that actually won it mm. because it shows them that it's appreciated much more mm. through an, on a national basis than just within the most specific motoring industry. Yes, yeah. So that is awesome. Mm. Uh, one of the other products you have, I think it's RADA. Yes. It's called RADA. Rape and drug abuse. Yes. That's it. And that's where you guys, the, the, the team, the team ladies, assist the schools um, in a project that's long overdue in South Africa mm. where they support the ladies with sanitary wear, the school girls. Yes. And this is something um, my wife and I went to a... Went to a, a rally to read thing many years ago where Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, he wasn't president yet, he then also mentioned that what, that was one of the big things in South Africa that the, um, the poor communities, women and ladies and youngsters at school, how much days they lose per year not going to school and then getting behind on their schoolwork mm. and that is on something basic as sanitary wear so that is one of the absolute most astounding um, things that you are definitely put, pushing and putting back to the to the community yes absolutely and then we have our workshops andre where yeah. we educate and um uh, you know we, we empower uh, girls young girls at school level we're actually doing so many of those workshops this year um sponsored by uh, motors um nissan kia and um and a toyota so oh, yeah so we're doing so many of those and, and it starts from that level it starts from school level yes. so yeah no that and, and i know 
Women Talk is also you and your team has come on board um, with with this uh, workshop. So yes. that's great as well. No, brilliant. So thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for um, for keeping this vision, my vision, um, uh, you know, alive. And and you know, I know things get busy for you, and we kind of get lost in the daily operations of because essentially Women Talk is a business, um, and we get lost in between all of this wheeling and dealing <laughs> wheeling no pun intended but we do and but you've kept this at the forefront of your mind so i really really appreciate that and um, so andre on that topic of so busy with um a woman talk and uh, an initiative or a um a woman talk a magazine with a difference right yes. so we literally have no competitors no. um in the industry we are unique um and yet we are we, we staying um abreast everything else that's going on in terms of advertising yes. so it gets really really challenging out there how do you stay motivated and inspired because every time i'm like i phone andre and i'm like i'm having a bad day and he's like so calm <laughs> <laughs> yes dish yeah no uh, it is um sometimes it is a bit of a challenge but um i think my main focus is really prayer and belief can i stop you right there yes. andre do you remember when we first met um, um and, and we decided that not first met but when we decided to join forces yes. um uh, do you remember what we said on that note we said that we would make god yes. our foundation absolutely right so and that is definitely <laughs> that uh, every day when when i start in the morning that's yes. a prayer and i believe in what i'm asking and i believe that i try to do what i can so andre I have noticed, unfortunately, that um, men don't always support these um, women empowerment initiative. What's your advice um, to change this mindset of the men that we do uh, attempt to get on board our initiatives of empowerment? Yeah, Dej, the motor industry was predominantly seen as a man's world. But I've changed, fortunately, due to, well, you being one of the, the, the forefront runners of getting the, the, the woman more seen and noted in the industry. But it was definitely seen as a man's world. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have grown, um, but I think the industry must take note of this. And there are exceptionally women, exceptional women that's performing way better than that was ever expected and i think a lot of jewels um, in the motoring industry mm -hmm. came out of this mm -hmm. uh, by giving the people um, the ladies the the freedom to really start doing and bringing their approach mm -hmm. um, i think appointments in the motor industry must be made due to competence and the ability and not gender that should be the determining factor. Yes, yes. Um, when appointing people in in the motor industry from now. I agree with you a hundred percent. I mean, there's 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 uh, there's such situations where men are more uh, competent in a certain role, or women are more competent in that role. It Definitely. Should, as you said, it should be awarded um, to the capability. Capability, of the not gender. So, Andre, what is one of You've got so many, like you've got so many quotes and so many sayings. Gosh, like there's a lot that I, in the past two years, especially after we started working together, you like throw them at me all the time. What do you love by? <laughs> Desha, one thing that's, uh, that's one of my core, core values, I think in my personal life is that uh, uh, do not step on other on your way up to the top yeah. as you might need them on the way down. Yeah. Too many people that we've seen and in the industry that achieved uh, higher high positions and yeah. achieved their own goals, but to the detriment um, and with their own agendas uh, to their <coughs> colleagues. And when something goes bad in future, then suddenly there's a there's a there's a big problem mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. and they lose the total respect of of the motor industry. So yeah. 
I think don't don't abuse people um, in either in in any way. I think that's uh, that's very 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 important. Absolutely. So Andre, <laughs> um, it's actually quite strange to be sitting here with you, someone so close to me, close to my heart, and I know that one day, very far from now, when you do leave this earthly <laughs> world. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. Very far from now. But um, I would remember you as a man that stays true to his word, that is committed, that is um, that always puts other people's needs and emotions and, and feelings before your own. Um, that's how I would remember you. I'd remember you as a person that, um, that, that that's all heart, that's all soul, all giving. And... Yeah, that's how I'd remember you. But how would you like people that don't know you to remember you? Because you are tough. He's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This year, I think, I think caring for staff and grown people um, and the fact that people that I've worked with and I've trained have grown to achieve a lot in life, mm-hmm. that is my legacy. Okay. Um, I would like to, to, to have people one day think when they've worked with me that I assisted them to achieve their own goals yes. in a fair way and uh, and to know how to treat other pe- to treat other people yes. I think that's very very important that's what I would like to definitely be by. definitely I think I uh, well I'm sure people would remember you that way. I know our staff will so <laughs> thank you for that so Andre um, a lot happens in everyday life um, you know I always believe that the people you surround yourself by molds you into mm. the person that uh, that you are or that you become okay so what's the greatest lesson of life that you could possibly pass on to people watching this interview be it men or women Desh, um, I think coming back to the previous question I mm. think to develop people to reach their full potential and not holding them back in life mm. that is definitely um, and it's not based on anything it's just your own ability mm. to make it grow and not to cap somebody where you think is their cap but letting them to grow and and live their mm. life to their full potential that is that is i think what i want no, that's amazing so andre you absolutely love travel <laughs> i know you've traveled <laughs> extensively and um <laughs> you're a man that that loves the good life as well. You love your birds, by mm. the way. <laughs> I do. Yes, and you have um, you have a lot of hobbies. You enjoy hunting. You enjoy your birds. Um, you you. I'm not going to say been around the block, but you've been to places. Mm, what's left on? <laughs> fortunately, what's left on your bucket list, Andre? This year, and on, on a business level, yeah. I would like to be one of the top five leading generating companies uh, with women talk in South Africa by the end of uh, 22. <laughs> yes, that's with all of us combined. Yes. And um, that is that is my big goal for the business. And on a personal level, and I would like to go f- to America, South America and Australia. Mm-hmm. They call it on birders uh, trips, mm-hmm. where you go for three or four weeks and you just go do some bird watching. Um, that is definitely on my bucket list. Um, and uh, that's something that I aspire to do. Not 100 years from now, because it might be difficult climbing the <laughs> In America's there through the through the forests and stuff. So yeah, that's what I would love to do. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm coming with you. Bird watching in South America. <laughs> well, Andre, um, a bit about the portal. Um, in terms of um, uh, you said that you'd like to be one of the top five yes. aggregators or the top five advertising portals in South Africa. I don't even doubt that is possible with you. But um, yeah, could you maybe talk a bit about uh, what yes. you have in plans for? Or, or with, for, with regard to women talk, talk. Yeah. yes women talk um, is, a, is an online motoring um, advertising platform mm-hmm. where we advertise um, uh, only bank approved dealers vehicles mm-hmm. um, that is based uh, on the fact that we would love to give our audience a little bit of peace of mind mm-hmm. So when they purchase a vehicle from one of the advertisers that's on our portal mm. and there's recourse, then we know there's not a problem. When they go back, we know that they're safe. We know that the, the people will attend to their concerns. That's very important. Yeah. And then um, the new thing, the paper lead 
um, that we've uh, created and we started marketing that three weeks ago. It's the first in South Africa from a from a national uh, lead lead, um, lead um, developing um, company. Mm. Is that you literally pay for only your lead? Mm. There's nothing else that you pay for. Mm. So. Um, what happens is we advertise all your vehicles. Mm. There's no cost in different cost or no cost in fact at all to have your vehicles nationally advertised. Whether you advertise 20 or 200 or 2000 vehicles, mm. we don't charge for that. Mm. The old legacy system, that is what was used, that's used on, on us previously and on, on other platforms, is where you pay for, for instance, 50 vehicle feed, you pay X rand amount, uh, X rand value per month mm. and then you hope you and trust that you get some leads. Mm. With us, no. It, it doesn't mean like that. You pay you pay some money into the account, uh, you create a costing where you can check daily mm. what is your actual lead spend. In other words, if you received five leads and the lead spend was 80 rand for the five leads, mm. you can see then that is your credit left for the day. And so you are literally daily, daily up to, uh, up to speed to where you are. Yes. You can you can literally go into your own leads per day. Um, you our leads lead system updates every hour, mm -hmm. so it is it is the, the, the oldest you will have uh, 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 information on our lead is an hour old, um, and then the lead dealers know that they can act on it. Mm -hmm. What we've also done there is if you pay your, when you pay your credits, yeah. um, at the end of the month, the credits are not gone. Yes. So if you've, if you've got 500 Rand or 200 Rand or 1000 Rand left on the first of next month, that money is still yours. You don't lose it. Yeah. In other words, it's not taken like the old legacy system. If your contract says five grand a month, end of the month, it's gone. Tomorrow you start with a zero again, you must pay. Mm. The customers, the dealers that's advertising, they truly get get the um, get the benefit of, yes. of this whole thing. Yes. Um, and we do uploads through feeds, all the major feeds in South Africa. You can do a manual uploads of vehicles. And we've now combined it that you can have auto feed plus a manual feed. So oh. dealers interesting and maybe adding a special on for specific vehicles, maybe they, a 90 day old stock or vehicles that there's an OEM incentive that they would like to bring out to the to the to the public mm -hmm. uh, without going through through all the feeds and take wasting time. They can then, as long as it's CI approved, if it's an OEM, they can then upload their own stuff. Wow, that's amazing, Andre. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. It's, it's exciting. It's, it is very exciting. It's the yes. first in South Africa. Um, the take up of this was is unbelievable. The growth growth we had last week. Um, I mean, if we keep keep on growing like this, I will achieve my 2022 goals by t in 2021. <laughs> as that. long as we can produce the leads, which yes. we are very confident. Yes. Yes. And based on 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 the the reports over the weekend, we are extremely successful in doing that. Yeah, wow. so we are blessed. Wow. Well, thank you, Andre. I'd like to thank you in front of our viewers for investing in us, investing in our dream, not only financially, but also emotionally. Emotionally, you have invested in Women Talk. And we, um, you know what, we could not have done this without you and the support of Hanley, your wife, no, who have joined our team as well subsequent to um, a COVID lockdown last year. And we, 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 we really, really, our entire team you've taken our team from two to ten and we are so so um we are so blessed to have you so i'm so glad that andre did not leave the industry and retire <laughs> and go bird watching he's still here and he's going to be here with us for a very long time so thank you so much andre thank you kindly Dash. okay and that for us is the end of another episode and interview with andre potcheta viewers thank you for watching supporting and following us once again also please remember to follow us in our social social media platforms and don't forget we have thousands of vehicles on sale to choose from countrywide on our vehicle listing page at I'll let Andre say it.
www.co.za And remember, viewers, we only advertise for bank-accredited dealerships. Ladies, tonight I want to talk to you about the importance of goals. A goal can be defined as a dream's plan of action. They keep you disciplined and focused. Furthermore, like Henry Ford said, obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goal ladies i urge you to commit to your goals write them down if you have to and put a deadline on them go over them regularly and don't forget to reward yourself when you do reach them you will reach them i have faith in you and that's why i want to encourage and motivate you with our motto here at talk the talk and woman talk and motoring woman of the year awards remember the question isn't who's going to let me it should always be who's going to stop me mm -hmm.